For those of you who have come over from 1806 Stone House, Lucas and I have decided to do a little Easter egg hunt. And if you've watched his video, you're gonna know what I'm talking about. There is a hidden Easter egg or clip of the other side of Stone House hidden somewhere in my video. If you see it, comment down below that you've seen it. It's pretty wild. It's right on the other side of where they're gonna bust through to that other side of that house. If you're a subscriber, you know what I'm talking about. If not, go check out 1806 Stone House. Now let's get into this week's uh, video. I'm gonna have a really hard time holding this. You're holding it so weird. Why do you hold it farther away? It's, oh! <laughs> <laughs> got up at 6 a.m. Got all the bottle babies fed, everybody fed and watered. She's so fucking cute. We are headed to Syracuse. You haven't guessed it yet. Our road trip was to get another goat. Perfect timing. This goat thing has really grown on us. We started with two weathers off Craigslist, believe it or not. For free. For free. <laughs> Who we don't have anymore now, but from there, we've been all over the place to get goats. Vermont, New Hampshire line. Uh, and now down to Syracuse area to meet utterly top notch. We want to keep getting into this goat thing just a little bit more. We've grown our numbers, we've retained, we've added onto the barn. Yeah, we've done a lot of work for him. All honesty, I've had to learn a lot of things that I had no clue how to do. Uh, birthing animals, learning how to milk, learning how to make cheese, lots of trials and errors. One thing that I just wouldn't bend on is learning how to draw blood for yearly testing for our herd and health screening. It is incredibly important, probably the number one thing to ask for when bringing in a new goat is, are they health screened? What are their results? And any good breeder will physically send those results to you. You have the right to ask for them. It's your duty to keep your whole herd safe. And it's something that we take really seriously here at Open Gate. We found an investor for our, our goats. You're gonna possibly recognize his voice. I looked up what they were used for and they were used to feed zoo animals. Which what was used to feed zoo animals? Nigerian goats? The original uh, ancestor for mini goats oh. in the US. Well, I knew that they were used to feed T-Rexes because we've all seen Jurassic Park, so. <laughs> Based on a true story. We should go to yeah. Jurassic Park this year. Well, we should probably just start our own Jurassic Park. <laughs> I can make dinosaurs, no problem. I yeah. can cook one. Oh, Matt, you, got, you had two dinosaurs? Yeah. There really needs to be like a movie made, like the Machete movie, where he's all like from this high class Bel Air family, and then he gets like trucked into this upstate New York little farm. <laughs> And he's just like, what is going on? And then you put him on like a five foot chain. He's just like, what? This isn't even gold. <laughs> Thank you. 
You in, you give his introductions. Oh, shit. Let's just see how he does. Hi. Hi. So we put him on leash? Yeah. Happy boy. <laughs> He's thick. When my lady's at. All the girls are staring. Look at Turo up there. No, look at, wait, even Puddle Jumper's staring at him. <laughs> That's so funny. Look, even the little ones. Hey, everybody. Never met an Alpine like you before. <sighs> well, I figured out what makes Sarah happy. Oh my God, he's awesome. Look at him. Oh, what did he do? Oh, you want to finish though? I don't blame you. So this, my beautiful goat, is Pearl. And yes, she's new if you don't recognize her. We purchased her in milk from a really awesome local farm. Probably only about 45 minutes to an hour down south. And she's so sweet. Easy to milk. Weird position to milk her in, but honestly, easiest to milk both teats at the same time. This girl's used to being on a milk machine, so I don't really wanna force her to have to deal with my slow new pans. Uh, so I just try to milk her out as quick as possible. She's doing great. <laughs> and she loves humans. So we really felt that Pearl would be a good addition um, to have milk immediately since all my does that are in milk are still weaning babies for about two more weeks. And that way I can freeze up her current milk and pass it off to our investor. If you haven't guessed yet, is Lucas and Sarah of 1806 Stone House. So there's a few things that are really exciting about that. If you guys don't know, obviously, he's my brother and he's the reason why we started the YouTube. So it'd be cool to kind of be the reason why he gets into goats. They really want to start making soap. So I'm freezing it up for them so they can do a really cool cold batch right away. And we're hoping to sell it in the future. Um, it's so lovely to be able to have a reason to connect with that family over something that I love. I love to see these kids and they're actually going to be headed here to visit. If you are subscribers of 1806 Stone House and you think they should get goats, which I do too, sooner than later, obviously they need to get moved into that house first. But just leave a comment below at 1806 Stonehouse. Get some goats. <laughs> and we hope that you guys are a little excited about us, you know, making soap together in the future and maybe doing some videos with Sarah and just getting to see the kids more. It's gonna be just so awesome to connect over something like that. And 
I'm really hoping to convince the kids to maybe show some of our goats in the future. I just think that would be so lovely. He's a little stinky. We have a little scratcher out if you don't want to get stinky. I don't know. <laughs> I need some muck boots here, boy. Yeah, why'd you wear white shoes? I always wear white shoes. He like, wants you to scratch shot, his head. Yeah. It's too late. I think he likes you, Jay. Can you smell him? Because you guys don't usually smell goats. Smell him. Okay. I think he likes your boots. He's a little stinky. He liked his head scratched. <laughs> Elia take, he's about 100 pounds, they said, or more than that. Is, I mean, is that a lot bigger than the, the dog that's Yeah, we're not gonna pet that dog. You're brave. Oh. He's, he's so protecting funny, his flock. Oh. His goat flock. And check out eighteen oh six Stonehouse. <laughs> you got anything, Lil? <laughs> this goat is yelling. Oh, yeah, come on, go. But the goat is not That's there at all. That's so cute.